Hey guys, welcome back to Java Collections Framework Series. In this video, let's take a look at Hasset class overview. Guys, Hasset class is very important class in Java Collections Framework because we use Hasset class to store unique elements or unique values. Okay. So here, uh, the few important points about Hasset class. Let's quickly take a look into these important points about Hasset class with an example. Has set cannot contain duplicate values. So as we know that set does not allow duplicate elements or values. So has set class implements set interface. Hence has set class cannot contain duplicate values. So let me demonstrate this point with an example. Let's switch to the Eclipse ID. Over there I have written a code to demonstrate these points. So look at here uh, in Eclipse ID I have created project and this is a class inside this class i have written this method to demonstrate has set you know not contain duplicate elements so this is the method uh, inside this method i have created a has set object and i try to add a duplicate element so first i have added element one and then i try to add a same element all right so this is the duplicate element right because look at here both the elements are same so if you try to run this program so this program basically prints element one. So it has set basically internally override this existing element with this element. Okay, so has set whenever it finds a duplicate element, it will basically override the existing and it will place a new one. All right, so let me run this program and let me show you the output. So look at here this program prints element one so even though i try to add two elements but it prints only one because it has set uh, if it founds duplicate elements then it will override the existing one all right so this program demonstrates that has set cannot contain duplicate elements so next point is has set allows null value so has set basically allows only one null value uh, let me demonstrate this point with an example so look at here i have created a method null value demo so inside this method i have created a set object set class object and i have added two null values all right so as i said like set can contain only one null value if we try to add multiple null values it will replace the existing null value all right so let me uh, you know run the program and let me show you yeah look at here has set basically allows one null value to store inside it all right guys just remember has set can contain one null value let's take a look at next point has set is an unordered collection it means that it does not maintain the order in which elements are inserted let me demonstrate this point with an example so look at here i have created a method unordered demo so then this method demonstrate that has set does not uh, you know maintain the order so i have created a has set object and i have added few elements to it and look at the order here element 1 2 4 5 7 6 if i run this program so look at here 1 2 4 5 6 7 all right so look at here 7 element 7 uh, it comes before element 6 but in output it comes at the end okay so every time you run the program it uh, you know prints the elements unorderly all right guys it means that has set uh, does not maintain order okay it is basically an unordered collection i hope you understood these points let's take a look at the next point has set internally uses hash map to store its elements all right guys let me uh, you know quickly deep dive into the has set internal source code and let me show you whether it is using hash map to store its element or not all right all right guys i have already installed a decompiler so i can able to decompile this hasset class so let me quickly uh, go inside a hasset class source code yeah here we go so look at here hasset class internally uses hash map to store its elements all right understood so this is the has set class source code and has set class internally uses hash map to store its elements i hope 
it, it clears this point. Now let's take a look into the next important point. Hash set is not a thread shape. Alright guys, hash set is not a thread shape. So you no need to use hash set in multi-threaded environment. So I highly recommend you guys do not use hash set in multi-threaded environment. So if you want to use hash set in multi-threaded environment, then you should have to explicitly synchronize it. So there are there is a collections uh, utility class in collections framework. It provides a lot of you know uh, static methods which you can use to synchronize explicitly to a hash set class. Alright guys, and alternative to hash set uh, class, there are some more concurrent uh, classes uh, out there in a you know collections framework that you can use uh, in multi-threaded environment. Alright guys, these are the few important points about hash set class and in next video we'll deep dive into hash class with examples.